This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is one of the cells, the new cells that go the series 3LR1000. There are 15 plates here, 3 inches by 6 inches. It's a good view of the plate system. What we're going to do is run the test to make sure there are no shorts to see how well it works. I've received some email telling me that it looks like I'm boiling the water. If you notice the temperature, then we'll turn it on now for you and you'll see what happens. This is real time. There are a lot of pictures on the internet which show you the cells running. If you notice, this is at 12 volts, less than 15 amps, and you can see the amount of gas it's producing. There's no way this is boiling. I don't usually answer statements like that, but since I'm going and testing these units anyway, no harm. As you can see, it's really producing here. We'll take a look at the temperature. It's not even 60 degrees. The series 3LR1000 is a series that's going to be on the bench here and I'm going to be testing it with an engine. I've had a lot of people ask me when I'm going to install it in my car again. It's cold out here and I decided the easiest way to test this out would be with a small engine inside. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm in the process of mounting an engine on the bench that will be running with a 3LR1000. That's with this new plate system. If you're interested in just getting these plates, I've got that on the web address, hydrogentaptap.com. I am selling that separately. I've had a lot of people asking if they can get the system plates. Again, I've done all the work. All you have to do is put it in whatever you want. The plates are three inches by six inches. Everything is what you need. They're certainly working good for me. If you're interested in doing some testing, this is a great system to use. As you can see, it's very sturdy. Those are the two electrodes that you're looking at that go through the plates. And the plates are separated with the two insulated screw systems. Some would call them bolts. Okay, bolts. Again, this is 50, not quite 56 degrees, and we'll turn it on again for you, and you can see what's happening. There's not much chance this is boiling. This is gas. In a lot of it. Again, if you want to check the site hydrogentaptap.com, all one word, you'll see more pictures of this. I'm getting ready to mount this system on the bench in the lab with an engine so I can do the tests inside. Since I'm using hydrogen, there's no worry about carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Since hydrogen only produces water and oxygen. It's a good view.